Hi guys, so I decided to add this snippet in the beginning, okay? And then the reading's gonna start again because what I initially said I was going to do um, during this reading, I was guided to do otherwise. So, I mean, it was really amazing. So I'm actually going to make a part two to this reading. So, just keep watching and um, I'm gonna post it afterwards, okay? And I really encourage you guys to see that because it's honestly one of the most important pieces. And before, even though I just finished the reading that you're about to watch, I'm going to pull these two because I trust the divine. And I'm sure that after the end of the reading, they will it will make sense. Blackbird, the magical and unique qualities of your untapped potential are unfolding now. Turkey, honor your own time of harvest. Offer your gifts and blessings as a service to the greater good. Hmm. Untapped potential. Your gifts and blessings as a service to the greater good. Sounds like union to me. We'll see. Okay. Um, guys, I wanted to post this in part two before I send you your private readings. For those that are, um, I said you were going to be emailed. I was just guided to do so. Um, you might get it late. Don't worry. I'll be up all night. My daughter's away again tonight. I'll probably be sleeping super late. So I'll have time to focus on it. But I always listen to the divine and what they tell me to do. They wanted you guys to get these messages first. That's that, all right? Here we go. Here I am again. This is my second snippet. I don't care how this looks when I edit it, honestly. You know why? Because I like things to be real time and I let things be divinely orchestrated, okay? If I would have just re-recorded this and put these two cards, Divine Feather cards, down and said, oh, these came out before, it's just not the same. This card, and you'll understand at the end, came out and I said, I was going to read this one in particular from the book. They just told me not to interpret it myself. And somehow I just went off on a tangent and I didn't. Nothing's an accident. I guess they wanted me to start with this, this, and this. Unbelievable. This is just unbelievable. Desert, number 31. The bareness of the dry, parched landscape may seem to be my destination, but still it asks me to look closely for its beauty. So often on the journey forward, you see only muted shades of gray, and this begins to become your emotional mood. Steps forward seem pointless because the purpose seems to have lost its destination into vibrant color. As an empath, you must not forget your sensitivity to energy and how it allows you to search out even the tiniest ray of vibrancy of color in every journey. The colors are always there. You must simply believe and feel. Has that which is before me lost its appeal? Do I allow myself to always look for hidden meanings? Should I shift my perception of the situation in order to see it in a new way? I am not going to say anything about that. Watch the reading and it will come together. It really is. I'm blown away and I am so honored. I, I'm so honored that the divine put me here to be the, the messenger to this degree. I never in a million years. I just, I just, wow. All right, so sorry about the editing. Again, this is very special. I didn't want it not to be real time. Okay, here we go for the second time. All of the information that I'm guided to share with you guys today will not only be beneficial to your growth, your transformation of self, your spiritual awakening, coming into union, understanding your life events, 
the person that you feel most connected to and their life events and how everything ties together. The purpose of me and my channel is not just to do readings to let you know when you're going to get contact and whatnot. It's to always give you some guidance so that we can all grow, okay? So, I did mention this in that May 3rd reading, which interestingly enough, if you saw my last reading, I mentioned I wasn't even aware that we got that card that said your story, and I literally everything that's been transpiring i said it all in that one reading in that reading i said i was being and it was the first time guided to introduce astrology energies of the planets and how all of these things affect us on our journeys and give us a bigger greater understanding of why things happen the way they happen so that you can have greater control over it. The more knowledge that you have, the more control you have of how it affects you just by having a new perspective, okay? So today I'll do a reading, but because tomorrow we're going to be having a new moon in Cancer alongside a total solar eclipse, okay? Tomorrow meaning July 2nd, 2019, and in some parts of the world, July 3rd, 2019, okay? I was guided in that May 3rd reading. It's like all starting to add up, right? To start to introduce these topics in my channel, okay? I might do so separately as separate videos, but for now, I'm just gonna do this. Because it is a major part of our journey that a lot of people are lacking knowledge of. That doesn't mean you need to be an astrologist tomorrow, okay? It doesn't mean that you have to go to the supermarket thinking about planets. <laughs> It means that you just have that knowingness, that consciousness, which ultimately will just be able to keep you a little grounded. And the more you know, the more grounded you become. Okay? These events, such as eclipses, the lunar cycles, and such, affect everybody on Earth. We are shifting into awareness and more and more of us are starting to understand this, can't deny it. Nonetheless, even those, which is the majority of the population, that don't look into these topics or understand these concepts or want to, or guided to rather, that's a better term, feel the same effects that you do, your person does, your mom, your dad, your cousin, your brother, your sister, everybody but every person perceives it differently, okay? Now, the way you perceive something is energy. So while more and more of you understand these concepts and perceive it from that place of knowingness, ultimately, you're aiding and adding that new consciousness in the energetic field for the, to guide everyone to raise the vibration of the planet, which interestingly enough, is a mission of the Twin Flame journey. People with soul connections. Also, it's all interrelated. So because it's basically been craziness and it's all explained with what I'm gonna talk to you about, since January specifically, and the total solar eclipse tomorrow marks a one of the biggest transformations of 2019, even though we're still going to go to it, go through it, okay? I decided to do a short reading on the current energies of Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, your situations, and also then have a little chat with you about these topics 
So I would encourage you to listen because it, it will bring greater clarity. Because once you start to know these things, you don't unknow them, right? You can't unknow something that you learn, okay? So the first thing that I'm gonna do, because I know, I mean, look, just because you have the knowingness of these topics and the awareness doesn't mean that you have to there is such thing as developing a spiritual ego all of a sudden somehow you're disconnected from the regular world you know like the world that goes out to a bar gets a drink occasionally does something toxic like smoke a cigarette when you're upset things like that no okay Guys, if you've been living like that, you are causing an imbalance in your life. These, part of spiritual growth is, one of the most important parts is not only balancing out the divine masculine and divine feminine side that we all have, because we all have both. And when we become ascended, it's when we find that balance within ourselves. But it's also balancing out being of higher knowledge and also enjoying the bullshit that is life on earth, okay? You don't need to go to the bar talking about freaking planets and stuff. <laughs> you can put on your high heels, go out, get a drink, dance, make stupid jokes, have fun with whoever you're with, be yourself, but just have that knowingness. Oh, shit. There's a total solar eclipse tonight. So let me be mindful of this and that. Just keep it to yourself. And if you're on a soul connect, if you're on an actual journey with another person, with a twin, have a soul connection with someone, it's even more powerful because you'll have that knowingness with someone else. Okay? You can just talk about it with that person, understand it move on that's a very that's almost like not almost like that is the next level in union once you come into union it's not a fairy tale remember this is not about romance it's you guys mending right within yourselves so that you can connect with someone else that did the same thing your person if they do their work. And ultimately, you can have this knowingness together and live a very peaceful life and raise the vibration of the earth even more. But then go out for your drinks and do whatever you do. Anyway. <laughs> so I'm going to start this a little different. I'm going to start, I'll talk about all this stuff after. Um, this is totally different than what I usually do. So I want to pull an or Let's start with an oracle. Oh my God, right to the point. <laughs> oh boy so I didn't even get to say message from divine masculine divine feminine so this is obviously a message to both of you from the universe deep in your heart you already know the answer do what feels right surrender at times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. Wow. Wow. The universe seriously, my angels. For those of you that are new, I'm a medium. Literally just pulled two cards from this oracle deck to sum up the lesson and what we're going to talk about when I go, go into these topics. It's about surrendering the old before something new can enter our lives. And for those of you that are struggling with that, this eclipse is going to smack you in the face. And hopefully this knowledge will help you a little bit. Soften the blow. Okay? Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. That is surrendering. You can't make it up. One of the biggest lessons thus far in 2019 
And I'm sure you hear in almost every reading, surrender to the divine, surrender to the divine, surrender to the divine. But you don't really know quite how. It's by surrendering to your intuition. It's by not doubting your intuition. It's by learning to let go of your conditioning, of all your labels, of everything, and just literally knowing how to go into this quiet place and lead with your heart, which is actually your intuition, and letting that guide you, okay, towards what you're supposed to do. If you're being guided and you feel negative emotions when doing so, you are not listening to your intuition, that's dark energy. That would be your intuition telling you there's something you need to heal. Wow. So right now, I'm being told that your divine counterpart already knows about your connection. Okay? Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Okay? So the divine right now, if they did not already do their work, will push them, especially with this total um, solar eclipse tomorrow, to surrender and just do what feels right. They will not be able to feel peace and happiness unless they do so. But it won't feel like they're being forced. It just feels natural because they're following their heart. So this sense of surrender has already happened. Okay. It's what happens next. As long as you stay in the right energies, what happens next is ultimately very beautiful. Again, for those of you that are new, I'm a medium. So I don't have a particular spread or anything. I do what they guide me to do. I was going to pull another oracle, but they're having me pull two cards from this Rider weight deck. First of all, <laughs> I don't even know what's underneath there. I don't even know what to say. In the last reading, if I do recall, weren't we talking about Judgment Day? Oh yeah, and didn't we get this card immediately? We got the Ace, if I recall correctly, we got the Ace of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. And then we got the side with the Devil, 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 Devil energies that came out multiple times. These shadow energies. This is a very clear message, isn't it, huh? Judgment Day, just like I said, it's time to surrender. You already know deep in your heart what you're supposed to do. You are both. Because now, the now this point in the journey, it's different. It's not about divine masculine. It's not about divine feminine. It's understanding that divine masculine, divine feminine is you. You both. Two people in the 3D. Okay. You and your on your soul contract that was written that you were going to go through this journey with someone else that will share very similar life experiences with you with the goal that you will come into union with yourself by balancing out the divine feminine and divine masculine energies you have within yourself. And when you both get to that place at the same time, when you're in that perfect vibration, it's pure alchemy. It's judgment day. You can't make it up. If you didn't see my last reading, go see it. And all the readings before then were leading up to this. The divine has already stepped in. The horn has been... The horn made its sound. Saying, it's time to lead with your heart. You already know the truth now. This is all going to make even more sense when I talk about the topics I was going to talk about. 
It's time to follow what feels right and surrender. It's time to let go of old patterns, old behaviors, old addictions, old thought patterns of lack, of guilt. Karma. This entire year has been about karma because it's now time to enter a new life. You have to just let go and everything will work out. It's judgment day. That's what judgment is about. We started in the last reading with this same card. Ace of Pentacles. When it's judgment day and you surrender, what do they give you? Abundance. It's a hand coming out of a cloud. The divine is handing you divine abundance, happiness, stability. After releasing on judgment day all of your shadow energies, all of your moon energies, moon energies are your dark side. Your karma, your lessons, your deceptions, your lies. Ultimately, anything that you do to somebody else is a reflection of yourself. Right? So if your divine counterpart lied to you, okay, then they were lying to themselves. If you were confrontational with your divine counterpart, then it's because you were in confrontation with yourself. That's what this is about, understanding that. Did I not start saying that we were going to go into specifically here today about the moon cycles and how it affects everything if that's not freaking confirmation we have the moon card the moon and this card look at the moon with the sun that's an eclipse <laughs> so that's just more confirmation and what happens after you're being pushed to surrender i'm not going to say some of them want to surrender the divines it, it there's intervention now there's clarity and all of this changes like I said total solar eclipse tomorrow new moon in cancer in the fourth house and this is all related to pentacles mean a lot of things financial stability emotional stability stability of anything it's divine abundance when you surrender they give you everything everything falls into place money love everything okay but you don't get the finances and all that stuff until you understand that love is the vibration that brings you there because we have an angel here with that bugle angels are beings of unconditional love and it's through that angel's unconditional love for all of these people's sins, okay? That that angel can then give you all of this monetary stuff and abundance in all ways. It's by first rising up to this vibration with yourself, with another person, okay? But here in particular, here we are, we're talking about Two of Cups. I'm going to see this. I'm going to interpret this card in two ways. You both were hit hard because of this, these cycles. You both have been going through this cleansing process, which really sped up January until now and will continue to happen. But more so the big, 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 huge life-changing events have already happened. The biggest ones of this year. For you to then go to a newer state of consciousness and perspective. Knowing that these moon cycles are going to continue to happen until you leave this earth and die here on earth. But the more that you know, the better together in alchemy. Okay? Alchemy. With strength. You see there's a lion with wings? With strength. And unconditional love, the wings of the angels, the divine, okay? 
You see how that right there underneath the line, the strength, it intertwines? And that kind of looks like that hospital symbol. In divine health and unconditional love, being able to both offer each other the cup of love that you found for yourself because you both have your own. Now you can come and create a stronger vibration together. And if this card that you see it, clearly, do I masculine? His hand is reaching out to the cup of divine feminine, meaning she also was subject to judgment day and shadow energies and wounds that this that needed to be healed. But she had more knowledge of all of this prior. That is why now divine masculine is the one that needs to reach out and will. Divine feminine being in a place of patience and understanding, ultimately both becoming stable on your own so that you can become stable together to then bring stability in your lives in general. Ten of Wands. How many times did we get the Ten of Wands recently in all our readings? Ten of Wands means burden. Okay? But it also means working hard. Working hard. Wands to me are passion, passion, and spirituality. So that's a perfect card. You can read that multiple ways. Couldn't Can you not? Letting go of the burdens created, of the burdens that you had to let go of because of the moon, because of your shadow energies that needed to be healed, because of your karma, understanding that none of it is your fault. It's just what you had to go through. And transmuting that energy from burden to perseverance and pushing forward with those wands of spirituality it no longer becomes a burden it becomes the knowledge that you're gripping on for dear life and moving forward after the moon after understanding after cleansing these energies after judgment day after the knowledge of what i'm going to share with you this changes from burden to enlightenment so i'm never letting go of this knowledge 10 the number 10 is the ending before a new beginning that's what tens are in this deck. It's the end of an old cycle and the start of a new one. So that's exactly it. Transmuting the moon energies from things that keep you burdened to embracing your shadow side, understanding it from a new perspective, knowing the energetic forces of the universe Gripping onto that knowledge for dear life, healing yourself, and becoming strong as hell. And not alone. Stable with another person. Because clearly, we all have had trouble doing so. Mostly because we were put here to have trouble doing so for ourselves. If that's not perfect... They just guided me to the Northern Greer deck. That was great shuffling, guys. That worked out. I think it's because this one wanted to stand out. The Page of Freaking Swords. Look at that. Look at that. The 10. Again, 10s. Ending of an old cycle. Beginning of a new one. You, you're not going to believe it. Well, you are, because you're going to see it. The Six of Cups. Soul Connections. Soul Connections. Oh, my goodness. Look. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Let me do it this way. This is what I'm going to do. You're having me do things differently today, nonetheless. It's a very strong message. After I put them, I'm going to put them away. Page of Swords. 
Communication. Swords, mental clarity. Your divine counterpart is ready to communicate with you. They've had mental clarity. They've gone through their lessons, okay? They probably have been trying to communicate, thinking of how to do it for, I'm saying, the past three, four days in particular. Hold on. Oh, if that's not the four of wand, a uh, four of swords, the number four. If that's not the ace of pentacles that we just got three times. If that's not justice, which just so happens to be the number 11 card. And of course, they wanted to confirm time. I said, especially three to four days ago. And those are swords. And we're talking about the page of swords confirmation guys so this person wants to communicate and they will I see especially for a lot of you between now and July 3rd in particular if it doesn't happen for you then you need to take the knowledge that I'm going to share with you the information do more growing it's still going to be a very important moment in your journey but remember i said this continues the huge shifts will continue until the end of the year so there's a lot of time but the major push was now especially if you're part of the collective i've been channeling communication we are receiving communication here okay ten of swords tens are ending of old cycles starting a new one so that's it you've been pinned down by all of the burdens that you've been carrying all of this all of these things it has been a huge time of just purging confusion not knowing what's going on deception self-deception just all of the little all the stars have aligned everything just clicked all karma has been forced out whether you liked it or not if you were resisting then you bled out a little longer how long they kept you in this ten of swords um Bleeding out stage depended on how long your divine counterpart and you decided to resist this process. But they're ready to communicate. It's time for a new beginning. It's time to six of cups. What, what, what's the six of cups? Six of cups. Six of cups means anything related to the past. It means rekindling past connections. It is the card that represents soul connections between you and another person. It is the card that... that um, recognizes and signifies twin flame relationships past life connections okay most of you i mean all of you if you're on this journey if you have a soul connection with somebody you know this person from before and that's because you're made from the same bits of energy that was used to make you to make you that's it energy's energy where it goes when it goes that's that's the universe's problem so if you have a soul connection with someone it's because you came from the same place it's also the inner child so this entire time was about healing inner child healing your inner child which was the creation which was what created these shadow energies in the first place and that's hard. So now it's time to rekindle. They want to rekindle this connection. But because you had to go back to children, see these are two children. What happens from here is starting a relationship as a brand new, going back to that place where you were conditioned the wrong way together and building from there it's beautiful and if you look closely at this card i've never seen it actually never noticed it it's the masculine's hand that's holding the cup okay and it's almost as if he's a little bit older than divine feminine which is interesting right 
That's because Divine Masculines in particular, they resisted the most. So they were humbled in the worst ways, but the, the best ways. Part of these lessons were this this transition was to realize that the negative isn't the negative isn't negative a lot of the time everything happens for a reason and it's for your the best outcome for you what's negative is your perception of the negative page of cups rekindling the connection offering a brand new cup of emotion so they want to communicate with you i see some people getting offers wow offers of stability wanting to rekindle a connection wanting to actually make a solid offer wanting to come forward and say i know the truth i want to be in a relationship starting new um this could be an offer and of engagement ring especially because in this deck in particular not to mention we got it three freaking times so we got it three times that signifies multiple things that the pentacle is everything abundance and love stability engagement money in every emotional stability in every way that you can think of stability hey guess what we just got it here once here once here once wow you're stable they're stable and when you're both stable the divine comes and offers you even more stability because you released wheel of fortune your karma wheel of fortune is the karma you went through the cycle and you succeeded. Look at you guys. Public recognition. King and queen. Holding that cup of love that you that you found. And showing it to the world. And when divine masculine is stable and divine feminine is stable. The divine offers you more stability. And now that brings a third energy. And it's not in a third party this time or interference. It's in that extra bit of stability and abundance that the divine will award you for doing your work and completing these cycles and coming together to have a divine connection that not many here, because not everyone was put here to have one. It's like two energetic just powerhouses combining and making this huge huge energetic impact on the universe and that's why the divine will then reciprocate that to you now you're ultimately ultra ultra abundant it's time that's it the wheel of fortune didn't you see that reading i posted the wheel in the sky is turning journey when i had somebody visit me in my sleep telepathically that was great the wheel turned and in this deck there's somebody falling off so that to me means if they were in a third party situation meaning another relationship okay that person has already been thrown off the wheel the wheel of fortune is karma so this is karmix they've realized them for what they are anything that's karmic gets thrown off the wheel now remember karma is not just people it's also everything that kept you bound from this growth. Devil energies, addictions, codependencies, and such. After a long period of introspection, this needed to happen. Most of you are in separation that was on purpose. A hermit is a hermit on their own. Separation was brought. Everything that's attached to the Wheel of Fortune is divinely guided to guide you towards your Wheel of Fortune, which is also sudden luck and your destiny. If you separate, if you went through ultimate separation and hardship, it was divinely guided so that you can go within and, under, and awaken to the light of the divine. And when you both, look how significant this is, both, look with the same star, both. Find out, find the balance within yourselves of your feminine and masculine side, solid in both ways. You are both able to come together and be solid as one huge, divine, abundant source of energy. 
And like I said, that's just something you know, because we're talking here spiritually for you to understand the process. But in the 3D, because you want to be a normal person with people in your life, what that means is you're able to start your mission. And your mission is to come together to have such a different, undeniable connection that look how it looks. It radiates. And you don't have to talk about spirituality. You don't have to be different. It's that energy that you will just give off to everyone. Okay? Have you ever seen someone walk into a bar with like a with their partner and they just like random couples you see couples all the time they, they give you this like whoa feeling like look at them oh my god that's so beautiful like it's like almost inspiring guarantee you that if you felt that your intuition told you that they were either twins or in a soul connection and they already reached this point it's a connection you don't have to talk about it's just shared energetically with everyone that's around you and it's also inspiring because you were put here on this journey people on this journey were specifically put here for a mission to do exactly that to inspire people and share this positive energy so therefore it is no coincidence that everyone a hundred percent not some hundred percent of people put here to be in this journey were specifically put through very very difficult lives the bigger your mission, the more difficult your life, including me. I'm a medium. My mission is to help all of you. I live the, one of the most difficult lives in the world. I said most difficult in quotes because I don't consider it negative anymore. I consider it one of the most beautiful gifts from the universe. Because had it not been for that, I would not have been able to gain the strength to even get to this point, right? Why would I, if I was comfortable my whole life, what, what would inspire me to do so? And the divine rewards you for that. That was your mission. And because of that, you're put here with someone like that also. Because if you live the hard life, guess what? A lot of people around you know that. And when you're able to be with someone and give off this energy that is undeniable, it's inspiring to other people. Like, wow. I never thought this person could actually like have something healthy. It's inspiring. It changes not only you and the other person, it changes everything and everyone around you in every aspect. Like I said, family, life, friends, money, everything. It just is. But guess what? If this person did not do their work, the majority of them were kicked in the butt, had no choice. Nonetheless, there are three pentacles here, honey. Meaning, any way that you look at it, whether it's in union, in the 3D, in our actual physical relationship, I love you, I love you too, let's be together, okay? Or not, the divine still already has abundance for you, personally, because you're both, or at least one of you, is already the Ace of Pentacles, okay? So if you come together, you get three pentacles. If you don't come together, you get two pentacles. Nonetheless, there's still two divine pentacles, Obviously, three divine pentacles is even stronger and better. Okay? Do you understand what I'm saying? That's the truth. Your life literally will change overnight. I feel like they have already gone through this, their process and almost realized that their lives, literally, it was like a lightning bolt changed overnight. Just like that. After a period of being the hermit. If they are not ready, you are to understand karma and understand the point of separation and continue on your life. But for the collective that I'm channeling right now, 
I'm not going into that. That's not what I'm reading. What I'm reading right now for the collective that I'm reading is two people that have gone through this process already because of what I'm going to talk about. That's done. Three freaking pentacles. Wheel of Fortune, karmic cycles are done. Karmic relationships are done, gone. Been long moments of painful, lonely, hermit mode energy that brought sadness, pain, right? But look where it left you. Holy stability. Wow. Wow. Okay? And now these people, for the collective that I'm channeling, will come forward confidently to talk to you, communicate with you, rekindle this relationship, offer a cup of love. But notice it's a page. It's the initial stage. Understanding that there is no need to be hasty because they're not coming from a place of fear of losing you. They're coming from a place of just knowing who you are. And if you are at the same vibration, you will know, you will feel it. And you won't need, you won't feel like you're lacking anything or need to rush anything either. However, for most of you that have gone through this process, I see a lot of them coming forward, especially with the three pentacles. And just, that's offering the hand of commitment and marriage. Am I saying that they're coming and asking you if I want to marry you? Some of them, yes, actually. Like, look, I don't play around. I know what I want. I know it's you. We don't have to get married tomorrow, but can we just, like, work to that? Some of them might already be ready to come with an engagement ring and surprise you, okay? Because they were, whatever the divine has in your soul contract to do. Because here there's an altar, you see? That's a little thing you walk through for marriage. Nonetheless, it's coming forward to communicate and give an offer of stability and justice. What's justice? Especially next to the justice card. Justice means obviously balance, balancing energies, balancing what? Divine masculine, divine feminine within yourself to come together and be stable. There's balance now, okay? But balance in the 3D, justice card in the 3D is also anything related to legal matters. For some of them, this is for a small group of you in particular and getting that if they've been going through legal matters that have been keeping them very stressed out, whether or not you know about it, there's a big payout. There's a big payout that just changes everything. Okay? And that was part of their karmic lesson. They surrendered to it, and then the divine just made it happen. For some of them, this is a divorce. Okay? That's why there's a third pentacle, to then offer stability to someone else. Realizing what's important, because they're miserable. This is just anything to do with legal also. So that's very clearly, I want to marry you, signing a legal document. After a period of what? Going within, hermit energy, meditating, introspection, handling, dealing with all these demons. Okay? The hermit card is a male. The four of swords is a female, both divine masculine and divine feminine. If you're in a same-sex relationship, that's fine. It's just the energies and how they're described. Okay? Plus, I pulled this out to say the past four days into the next four days. That time period was like the psh, lightning bolt. All because of the eclipse coming. No coincidence that I named my last reading judgment day is here that's what being a medium is i'm a creep <laughs> so now these burdens are not burdens there's balance now the divine's very proud and you're granted stability i see some of you literally this is big big stuff my communication it might seem hasty but if you're in the right energy you'll just understand some of you like right away making plans to like um, putting your little coins together to create one coin. That's exactly what that is. This is what I have all that this is what I have to offer. This is what I have to offer. So let's put it together and have one big abundance. That's making a plan to move in together, to be together, to create a home. 
to get married, to move in together. Did I say that? Because that's two people displaying what they have to create one. I mean, that's pretty clear to me, especially next to justice. Justice making legal plans and like making documents, plans. Wow. Why are they guiding me to the sexual? Okay, so I, this was just, this was the most, they were very clear with their um, message today. I don't have to pull a million cards. They want me to focus on this and this. And the fact that union is here for so many of you and it's beautiful, I feel it. Huge shift. You can't make it up because I said it before it came out and it goes hand in hand with what I'm talking about today. So they made their message very clear. Listen, for a lot of you, oh my God. Oh my God. Yes, guys. Judgment again. <laughs> Ten of Swords again. Oh my goodness. I, I There's nothing else to talk about. It's that kind of energy, guys. Where is it? Where it came out? The Ten of Swords again. Same cards. The same freaking cards. There's nothing else to talk about, you guys. What is there to talk about right here? What is there to explain? What's there to explain here? I just feel like I have to show the wheel here and I have to show justice. I must. What is there to talk about? Are we seeing this? Because I'm shuffling in front of your eyes. After a moment of isolation, burden, going within, all divinely guided to heal your inner child, you guys are now ready to communicate and rekindle everything. Judgment day. Holy crap. You guys are finally at the same place there's one judgment card for you one judgment card for them there's one ten of swords for you for them or you one ten of swords for divine feminine that's a female there and in this card is significant because in this window over here there's two people having sex and one person crying over it crying over somebody either leaving them for someone else or being with someone else, a karmic partner, but didn't we see in this deck in particular, it's, it's, it's never an accident why they guide me to certain decks. This karmic partner was already thrown off the wheel. And you don't have to feel bad or guilty, and they don't feel bad or guilty either, because they already understand that this is just karma, what needs to, what, the divine, they surrendered. And there's a pentacle for them too, because it's not part of their plan. Just elsewhere. 10 is the ending before the new beginning. You both already went through. You're in the same place and it's time to justice. They want to come forward now and communicate, bring justice to the situation because a lot of them did something wrong. Um, I don't like to use the word wrong. Just hurt you in some way. And you were put in this 10 of swords to think about and perceive what being hurt actually means. And understand that this was part of your karmic lesson. This is something else. Literally the same card. You're both at the same place. For whoever I'm channeling, this particular group in the collective, especially the, 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 uh, now, the solar eclipse. I mean, there really isn't much to talk about here. This is something. This, this is, if you need confirmation I don't, and you're still confused, I mean, <laughs> Wow. If that's not the biggest, biggest, biggest confirmation I've ever seen. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. They know that already. And so do you. Because if you're in the energy of waiting around, expecting an apology or whatever, an anger, I'm not going to go into that because that's not the group that I'm channeling. The group that I'm channeling has already surrendered to all of those thoughts and understands what karma is and the cycles they've been going through. Okay? If you're in an angry energy, then you are not here. 
this is where you need to be so this is still useful surrender at times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives let go and all will work out that's it you both let go ten of swords you both bled out both let go you were both granted stability and now the divine's like oh you got it yes let me give you everything you want boom it's time to do what feels right so there's definitely communication for the group of the collective that i'm channeling right now oh my god i just split the deck the ten of freaking pentacles the ten of wands again Guys, you can't make this up. You guys are exactly at the same place. It's go time. This is beautiful. Ten of Pentacles is marriage. Family. Creating a stable home. That's marriage. Some of you are legitimately making plans to get married or get engaged. If they don't already come with something. Some kind of... I feel like some of them are coming with some kind of a gift along those lines. But there will be no doubt that you guys are creating some kind of a family here. Ten of Wands. Again, wow. Burdens turn into what? Perseverance. This is the Ten of Wands. It was burden. Go three readings ago when this card came out next to the karmic partner. But now that this karmic partner, karmic situation is thrown off the wheel, this burden now becomes perseverance and a happy home after a period of walking away strength card being strong the world oh my gosh oh my gosh fool card oh my gosh eight of cups is walking away an ending so this to me is an ending of the karmic karmic situations karmic cycles ending of these thought uh, patterns and such especially next to the world coming full circle now learning all your lessons strong the same strength between the two of cups union you've battled these demons the full card right back to the beginning what beginning like i said rekindling and coming forward to a brand new start taking a leap of faith the fool takes leaps of faith that's why they're the fool People call them the fool, but he's the most confident out of everybody. He's no fool. How could he be a fool? The fool is the most courageous person that exists. There they are with their little stick and their little, they don't really feel the need to have all these material, this material BS. They just, the fool is a surrender to the divine. Surrender. So you guys taking the leap of faith after an ending, that's it, wow. This is union. This is what a twin flame union is. It's not just coming together and having a relationship. This is, and these cards make it clear. Going back to literally starting as like two brand new souls. Yeah, you're probably still, you're probably, not probably, you are adults. When you come together, you're the same person on, you know, in, on earth. But on a soul level, you're brand new. And you're able to face each other as if you were children. This is friendly, happy. Who, you, who you're supposed to be. Who you were always supposed to be. That was That's the whole journey. The whole journey, the whole point of a twin flame union of all this stuff, of soul connections. Again, whether or not you're with this person or not. Because it said three pentacles, no matter what. Okay. You're going back to who you you really are in a positive way and building from there. It's like a brand new life. And ultimate happiness because it's who you were before you were conditioned to react negatively when all this karma and all this what society told you you who you were supposed to be. This, I, I really can't even with this. Again, I have to hurry up and just go into this. Um, this is going to be long, what I wanted to go into. But they want to from here. All right. These two.
the sun card divinely orchestrated. Oh my goodness, it's the Empress. That's Divine Feminine. Here's Divine Feminine. Reborn, right? The birthing of new ideas. That's why she's holding her stomach there. Because she's the mother, the nurturer. She's the ultimate woman. She's the embodiment of all queens. She has the light of the divine in her hands. For a while, divine feminine, she was staring at all this stability, abundance, and she wasn't sure where her life was headed. She was put through confusion too, just like divine masculine. I don't even want to use those terms today because like I said, we've already established that you guys are both masculine and feminine. Your divine counterpart is now coming forward like the Knight of Swords and the King of Swords. <laughs> the Knight of Swords is coming really fast with communication, communicating with you very fast. The King of Swords speaks and knows their truth. Do you see the chess? They're not hasty though. The Knight is hasty. But the King of Swords makes a blueprint, makes a plan. Okay? Thinks about it deeply. So what does that mean together? That they're going to come full force towards you with the truth. But they don't want you to think and feel this way. Like, are they being truthful? Are they telling the truth? You know why? Because they're only coming fast because they've already taken all the time in the world. Making a blueprint and understanding this. One more. I'm going to split whatever's there. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Although this card does not look as beautiful. Oh my goodness. As what you usually see for the four of wands this is the 11 11 union card this is marriage and this is marriage ten of cups four of wands this is marriage 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 twice <laughs> guys we got the pentacle three i mean i don't have anything to say this is a marriage card this is a marriage card ultimate happiness abundance they're coming for they're charging in like a bat out of hell didn't i say lightning ball confirmation lightning bolt like a bat out of hell it was like a lightning bolt especially in the last four days i said confirm i know what i want this is it i get it but now a knights are very fast kings take their time they're like i have to make a very quick plan though i need to make a very quick. like they very quickly figured it out and they're coming forward to tell you what they want this is commitment. Whoever I'm channeling, this is what it is. And this is for a lot of you because this is very... I've never I've never had a reading like this. <laughs> this is quite something else. Especially because it's a culmination of um, all the other readings that I've done. Lately, if you listen to the May 3rd reading, it is a description of everything that I'm saying right now and of all the reading excuse me that I've done up to here can't make it up give me a minute your divine counterpart has something to say to you it's hard to shuffle these because they're like If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind, for the heart is a gateway to the soul. We started with the same message. They have understood that. 
It is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone instead of placing your focus on another. Now it's time to give to yourself, okay? Reminding you not to look at this as if there's a time limit or anything. You have to be in this vibration to get this vibration. It's that simple. Balance. <laughs> I just said that. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. They realize that, you realize that. It's also the balance between what I said, masculine and feminine energies. One more, they said. Yeah, I don't know, random, random, not two. I said one, I said one. Time. You are trying too hard. Give it time. This is a message for some of you. That's a warning also. You have to stay in this vibration. You will continue to be tempted. You have to keep your balance. If you don't keep your balance, this cycle, you'll have to step back again, okay? But this is what's supposed to happen right now. I'm speechless. My heart is like racing from the energy. You guys, the May 3rd reading that I keep speaking about, these were the two cards that came out. Your story, light at the end of the tunnel, it gets better. The universe is giving you validation of that. Oh my god. I'm like, I can't even react. The universe has just, you know, there's three, validated, validation. This is your story, light at the end of the tunnel. I, I, I'm, I'm stuttering. There are no accidents. I'm honestly in awe. Oh my gosh. I've been talking about the May 3rd reading, the May 3rd reading, the May 3rd reading, May 3rd reading. I started talking about astrology, then May 3rd reading, May 3rd reading. They wanted me to just add that in today too. I said that was the only card that said your story. I, I just, I, I talked about it. These are the same cards. I don't know what to say. I, I really don't. Confirming the specialness of this relationship. Written in the stars. Specialness. is happening. Present. Now. The time is now. Your story. The light at the end of the tunnel. It's now. And then they further confirmed and gave you validation. By having the summer card pop out. In the United States it's summer right now. Present, the present summer now, the specialness, the union, the light at the end of the tunnel, your story, which I predicted, obviously, May 3rd, that reading, which last reading was the first time I realized that. And now look, do you see how even me being a medium, they don't allow me to put the pieces together completely until they want it to be put together? Yeah, I've been channeling correctly, but it's now that it all makes sense. The same cards. That was me predicting the story, the light at the end of the tunnel, complete union, how it's going to play out, letting you guys know warning of what's to come. Everything that happened, I said it there. Deceptions, everything you've guys gone through, for the most part, if you've resonated. And they say present time now summer now 
that's it you've reached the point and we had the moon card oh my god the, the freaking oh my god the solar eclipse oh my god and that was the only reading where i ever talked about things like that desert i'm actually not sure they're guiding me to use the book for that all right What number is it? 31. Well, I don't know how I'm going to... Maybe I'll have to do another... Re I'm going to have to do another video for the... Um, I'm going to do a part two, guys. I'm going to do a part two for the... Uh, information about the energies and the solar eclipse and such. That needs a reading of its own. Because I did not anticipate i knew what the energies were but i did not know that they were going to make it this beautiful this special to make it this clear i am honored i feel honored i almost i, I get emotional guys i cry about everything because i'm an empath like literally I cry when I see dogs that are too cute in the street. <laughs> That's me. This is something. How can I? Look at this. I feel honored that they chose me, they, the divine, to have such an important mission on this earth that they literally just had me record a movie. <laughs> May 3rd. And it all just like transpired. The same summer. I feel like, especially because summer is 20 card, that the talks for, for the ones that I channeled about making plans for the future, getting engaged, getting married, some of you are going to talk about, or if not, get engaged like right now, or talk about getting engaged like in the next couple weeks, I swear to God, moving in together. And summer of 2020 is when it's actually going to happen like actually a wedding and stuff i just saw that very clearly in my head i specifically just saw somebody in a particular dress in a particular location at a particular time summer 2020 actually i actually see the same day july 2nd 2020 i just channeled that for someone they want me to validate that somehow i don't know how the hell they want me to validate that if you want something to come out here from the after tarot after tarot is confirming what happens next what other way can they validate what I just said other than in the after tarot confirming what happens next guys I, I really I feel honored this is <gasps> this is I just I I I I deep breath. The energies are very too strong for me right now. I never in a million years, I've always known I was a medium, but I would never in a million years knew the truth of what my mission was here to this degree. To this degree. <laughs> this is beyond specialness. I literally just feel like I don't I know that they know my angels, but I don't know how to thank them. I don't know, this is just life changing for me. Let's see after tower confirming what happens next. <laughs> the wheel of fortune. If you hear my I'm just a little bit mellow because it's just it's humbling. That they put me here to do this. Um, Wheel of Fortune, confirming, destiny, karmic cycles, that's a pass, that's the end, that's already done, right? I said, confirm that to me, what I just said about the marriage, summer, July 2nd, 2020, well, Ace of Swords is the truth, and the after tarot is the truth put in the ground, confirming what happens next, so that's the truth that's being spoken now, grounded, made solidified, Right? After a knight of pentacles, someone comes forward and offers you that pentacle. 
Well, I said pentacle, the ace of pentacles is an engagement ring or offer of commitment. Obviously, this knight divine masculine has to come forward and give it to you, right? That's not confirmation. What else? Oh, if it's not the ten of pentacles that we got before, union family card with that little boy that I kept channeling for the past God knows how long. Since May 3rd, I channeled that little boy a million times. Someone's going to get pregnant and get have a boy, but it's going to be like happy. Okay? I channeled that. How else could they confirm other than the Ten of Pentacles next to the Ten of Cups? Another family card with that same little boy, but just a little bit more grown up. <laughs> the Ace of Pentacles gets offered to you. You get ma you get engaged. You get married July 2nd, 2020. This is for not everyone, but some of you. But the message is for a lot of you. But this particular date is for somebody. And once it's offered, you start your new life. And in the process of starting your new life, obviously this is not overnight, you get married. And this is what you create. That pentacle that was offered to you, put on your finger, you get married. Then turns into the pentacle that creates this little boy that's holding that pentacle. A son. Which then turns into this ten of cups, ultimate, abundant, happy. Cups is love. This is the ultimate, the end point i remember tens are end point end point of stability of everything of those three pentacles abundance you have a freaking treasure chest you're very financially stable ten of cups ultimate happiness and love this this is like the, confirming the next step look at the picture here you see there's divine feminine she's the empress she's holding the little boy that's grown now grew up okay there's like a grandpa there. It seems that there's another little boy there. Oh, I feel the little boy is older. That's the little boy. And there's another one, so there's two kids here. That's Divine Feminine. If you notice, she looks older here. So it's not the moment where you have the Ten of Pentacles. And Divine Madison's there, hand on his face, like, I can't believe this is my life that I created. I can't believe this is my life. And she's standing there in her strength, like, holding everyone together. Unbelievable. And how else can they confirm what I just said about that marriage and that day other than giving me the judgment card? This all happens. This is the after tarot, after this. See? They rise up. They go up. Sins are released. This is the love story. It starts the solar eclipse. It comes by Divine Masculine offering his hand and sharing his cup of love with Divine Feminine. Then offering the stability and boom, this is what comes out of it. This is your story. There is, There always has been light at the end of the tunnel. This was your mission. This was your purpose. You now finally feel worthy of even wrapping your head around the fact that you were put here to be a part of something so special <laughs> that no one else I'm not going to say no one obviously other people in, twin, in soul connections will also understand but that the general population will feel but not actually understand and remember I said those with soul connections what? The pictures are everything also. It's a soul contract. It was written in the Akashic Records. It was written where? It was written in the stars. Aren't I, am I not talking about the um, effects of the stars and the planets and the moon and everything on this connection and everything that's happening? Yes. Because this is a special connection that started in the stars ended in the stars you guys are star seeds if you don't know what a star seed i don't know then you're a little bit far off if you don't you don't have to i mean look it up a light worker like me i'm a star seed i'm a light worker okay once you get to my level of mediumship you know where what, what energy field you connect with the most i connect with andromeda just do just know that okay 
I'm not gonna go into all that stuff. I'm gonna leave that there. I wanna evolve my channel into different topics and stuff, but I'm gonna leave that there. Written in the stars. Written in the Akashic Record. Written in your book of life. Akashic Records is the book of life. So you had a soul contract, finally. You were put here, like I said, to have those with this mission to live very dark lives. Happy. Not saying that we were evil, but a lot of hardship so that you can get here. Light at the end of the tunnel. That was written so that you can be on a mission. Even if the mission is just being together. Because like I said, you don't have to say and do anything to share your energy. The energy of three freaking pentacles. Three. Three. Which then multiplies into ten. Just because. And babies. And money. And everything. Just because. And it all starts. Nights are movement. Because Divine Masculine also woke up. Divine Feminine did their work. Both of you. Because you're both Feminine and Masculine. I said that. Knights, Knight of Pentacles, the slowest moving night. It was a slow process. It was meant to be slow. You don't eliminate black clouds like that overnight. You were meant to be clouded. I was meant to be clouded about the whole connection between my May 3rd reading, your story by Aunt Dee and the tunnel now. They didn't even tell me. They just told me now. <laughs> they just told me now. They blinded me also. Very slow moving. It wasn't meant to be fast. You see? Why? That horse is black just like those clouds. It's slow. Slow moving. It matches. Because you can't go through these clouds fast. But the time has come. That's all that matters. Look at all those stars. Look at all those stars. Look at all those stars. Special. I can't even. I'm going to make a part two, okay? With all the other um, information which I feel like honestly is the most important part of this reading the most important because even if you're not the person I'm channeling that's going to get married your marriage date July 2nd 2020 obviously if I'm reading this it's for enough of you remember we're collective consciousness if you're on a mission you're on your mission so this information is still what you need to know Archangel Michael, that's my, I told you I'm married to him, so. I told you Archangel Michael had everything to do with this favorable outcome. Look at the next two cards, wow. Everything. Everything. Archangel Michael led Divine Mass and Divine Feminine to explore their options. Because the way that you guys were living was not the divine way. Dear God, thank you for your wisdom and love helping me see, understand, and assess all of my alternative options. Please guide me in the best direction for my health, happiness, and life's purpose. And that's exactly what he did. And you know what? I asked him to do that for me. And he did. By the way, because I love him. Didn't I say that he's my husband? <laughs> I see him every day. A favorable out outcome. Thank you for the beautiful outcome to this situation, which is perfect and fair for everyone involved. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for helping me trust and have faith. Ha fair for everyone involved, okay? Because we remember that we're still on earth and we have responsibilities and commitments and kids to pay take care of and parents that need taken care of, whatever. But the, the divine takes care of that. That's why it says perfect and fair for everyone. Believe and trust. Before going to sleep tonight, say, Archangel Michael, please enter my dreams and replace fear with faith and trust. Let me be filled with strength, courage, and confidence. Always time to surrender. Just believe and trust always. And don't stop asking him. I ask him to do that for me every night, regardless. Even if I'm at that pl place, we are human. We will still go back and forth make a commitment 
Archangel Michael, as the angel of courage and confidence, I call upon me to lend me your strength. Allow me to commit to myself, my life, and my divine purpose. Please clearly guide me so I can fully open my heart to every experience. I kid you not. Archangel Michael guided you guys to commit to yourselves, your life, your purpose, to bring clarity, open your heart. Someone's getting engaged. Someone's coming into union. A lot of you. Go look at the May 3rd reading. The same thing. It's time now. July 2nd, 2020. July 2nd, 2019. That's the story. I'm going to do a part two, guys. Look out for it, all right? Um, I wanted to post this before I send those that I emailed that were getting personal uh, private readings mailed uh, to you. They're done. No worries. But when the divine says don't send it yet, I don't send it yet. They wanted me to post these readings first, okay? In love and light. Okay, bye.